What we've learned so far will shock you and will shock the American people. There's a flood of counterfeit parts entering the defense supply chain, and that source is mostly China. We cannot allow our national security to depend on electronic scrap salvaged from trash heaps by Chinese counterfeiters. Tomorrow, we're going to hear from a witness who has firsthand knowledge and has seen firsthand how counterfeiters in China remove electronic parts from scrapped computers and other electronic waste, how they then wash the parts in dirty rivers and dry them in the streets. We'll hear how the counterfeiters make this scrap look like new parts. And then we'll hear how these parts are sold openly as new parts in markets in Chinese cities like Shenzhen, the epicenter of the counterfeit trade, and they're also sold through the Internet to buyers around the world. Did you see any evidence when you were there of any Chinese government action against what was openly being sold as counterfeits? When we got into the city of Shantou, um, the entire business purposes of everything that we saw there was very obviously to uh, harvest components from e-scrap and go through complete refurbishment uh, right there in the open. There was nothing that was hidden. The garbage-strewn streets of Guiyu reek of burning plastic as workers in back rooms and open yards strip chips from old PC circuit boards. The components, typically less than an inch long, are cleaned in the nearby Lanjiang River and then sold from the cramped premises of businesses such as the Jinlong Electronics Trade Center. A sign for Jinglong Electronics advertises in Chinese that it sells, quote, military circuitry, meaning chips that are more durable than commercial components and able to function at extreme temperatures. But proprietor Liu Weilong admits that his wares are counterfeit. His employees sand off the markings on used commercial chips and relabel them as military. Of those 1,800 cases, we selected about 100 to track backwards through the supply chain. So where do the trails ultimately lead? The overwhelming majority, more than 70 percent, led to China.